Hudson's upscale Kadeve department store. The world's biggest producer of pencils and crayons is celebrating its birthday here with an exhibition exploring the history of writing and drawing. It kicked off with a star-studded party hosted by company director Count Anton Wolfgang von Faber-Castell. Actress and former Deutsche Welle presenter Mariella Ahrens is also attending. She's married to the Count's nephew. The Faber-Castell name always meant something to me. I grew up in East Berlin, so I was not familiar with their pencils, but I knew the brand. And after the wall fell, I had some of their pencils at home, but I didn't know anything about them. It wasn't until I met my husband that I realized it was worthy of a closer look. <laughs> Faber-Castell is a global phenomenon. The company produces more than 2 billion pencils and crayons every year at 14 plants around the world. In 120 countries, children learn to write with pencils produced by Faber-Castell. The design has remained largely unchanged for the past 160 years. If you bought a pencil today and put it in a drawer, and your grandchild took it out in 100 years, it would still write just as well. Kesselstein, near Nuremberg in Bavaria, is the ancestral home of the Faber-Castell family. Count Anton Wolfgang von Faber-Castell has opened his home to the public as part of the 250th anniversary celebrations. Now everyone can see how the family has lived through the ages. The current company director invested some 4 million euros in refurbishments. The company leadership was passed down to him through eight generations. And he hopes his children will carry on the empire. It's not a burden to my children at the moment, but we've got to make sure they see it in its appropriate context. Faber-Castell is very well known, but being stuck up about it is not permissible. The ninth generation of the Faber-Castell family, three daughters and a son. My son certainly has the metal to work in the business, but I also have three smart daughters. The workers at the main plant in Bavaria were also invited to the celebrations. The company has employed many of their families for generations. Faber-Castell hopes to continue that tradition. Maybe for the 350th anniversary, we'll re-release products as limited editions that we produced for the 250th anniversary. And people will say, oh, these are from that fantastic event at KDV. <laughs> We're, of course, the biggest, oldest, and best producer of wood-coated pencils. But we're much more than that, or we want to be. We want to accompany people throughout their lives. Celebrities and aristocrats flock to parties thrown by Count von Faber-Castell and his wife Mary in droves. The Count's nephew Patrick, Mariella Ahrens's husband, is used to it. Who's that? Is he a noble? There's a lot of talk like that now with the big weddings we've had. At the end of the day, it's about what you project here and now. Anton von Faber-Castell was recently awarded Germany's Federal Order of Merit, the country's highest civilian honor. When you meet Anton von Faber-Castell and speak to him, He's extremely relaxed. That's how I'd put it. He could be different in view of his position. I know many people in my field who are not as distinguished as he is, and yet they're arrogant, and you wonder why. He's not like that. And this party won't be the last. The anniversary celebrations are set to continue throughout the year. <laughs>